Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Montana Post-Secondary Educational Opportunities Council Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Sarah. I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use, and we encourage you to use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. If you have particular questions for institutions, please go ahead and list the institution name that allows our panelists to answer those questions a little bit quicker for you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the website or the schedule on the website for more. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Montana virtual. And as a reminder, if you haven't registered for today's session, go ahead and do so so that you can enter in for a thousand dollar scholarship to so be sure to register um, so you can get those updates. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, City College at Montana State University Billings. Good morning, this is Stephanie Cowan with City College at MSU Billings. And I just wanted to be able to share with you um, some information about our campus and now my Presentation isn't moving, which is not good. Um, but anyway, I just want to let you know about City College. We offer the two-year um, associate degree program and certificate programs and um, in a variety of program areas. And um, I'm going to try and get it. But anyway, we offer programs such as automotive, diesel, transportation. We also offer healthcare programs. Um, and safety. So we have nursing, we have rad tech, paramedic, and um, also have uh, ultrasound technology. And I'm going to try this one. As um, what the key about our programs at City College is that they're all hands on programs uh, that offer some opportunities to. Um, there we go. There we go. It's finally um, to really apply your what you're learning in the classroom. And so a lot of the pictures you're going to see are going to show that action opportunities, whether it's a clinical, whether it's a lab or it's out in industry. Healthcare is our largest program area um, with nursing and um, being the largest one. We have an associate RN as well as a practical nursing. The practical nursing can be done at a distance um, in the state of Montana. Uh, we are the only ones in the state that also offer ultrasound technology. It's a certificate. It's a professional certificate. You have to have a medical degree or a bachelor's degree before entering that. We also work with our partners in Great Falls to offer the respiratory therapy and surgical tech programs um, in the Billings location. And um, for our safety, we also do criminal justice and fire science. And uh, both of those are transfer degrees. So you can go out into the job market or continue for bachelor's really easily. Then we, in the transportation areas, as I mentioned, we have the auto diesel and we're the only ones in the state that have auto body. So we encourage you to look into that. Um, we also do construction carpentry, but also the management side of construction. So how to put the bid together, how to do the project, project management. Um, so some great opportunities there. And we're also the only ones in the state to offer process plant technology and instrument and electrical technician. Um, and those are our highest paid graduates starting at around 65 to 70,000 a year and join, going up to 100,000 within two to three years on the job. We also have business and computers. Um, we have cybersecurity. We have programming um, at the applied level. So the two-year degree, our uh, students go out to work for medical and different businesses across the region. And we also have a lot of business ones that are offered in a um, online format. So that really can help you uh, take the education where you need to and um, continue on if you want to go on for a bachelor's or go out into the job market right away. Uh, we also have a medical um, program in the business side and that's the coding and insurance billing. So you're not doing the patient care, but hands-on patient care, but helping in the business side of the healthcare fields. We also offer a general study. So if students don't know what they want to start with right away, but just want to get started in college, so you can start that at City College and can do it on campus, in person, at the university campus together. Um, and then also once you get it transferred to the university campus or 
across the country to another four-year degree. So some opportunities for those that are just wanting to get a good start at a smaller campus and, um, and a great city that offers a lot of internship opportunities. Um, as you'll see, we are very affordable. Two-year campuses in Montana have a lower tuition rate, so that really helps keep the cost affordable. And a lot of our students get some form of financial aid and scholarships that make it even more affordable for our students. We have a lot of support when you get here. So it's not just in the classroom, but outside the classroom. We have a trio program. We have disability support services. And we have a lot of different centers that different students can find a great home to get that additional support to be successful. And um, again, just more opportunities to get engaged outside of the classroom. Billings itself has a lot of things to get to, but the university, the sports, athletics, fishing, hunting, all those great things um, to do in the Billings community while you're getting your education and getting ready to go out to that marketplace. So again, City College, as being part of MSC Billings, has a lot of opportunities to make it uh, work for you um, and give you um, that opportunity to get the education and get into the job market of your choice, hopefully. And um, just idea on cost there again, very affordable. Um, we have a lot of assistance to help you get there as you um, uh, go into college and get out there into the job market and start making some great pay. So make it all worth your investment of time and money. And, oh, I went to one more slide, but really the last thing is just visit campus. That is my you know, biggest point uh, that I would like to say is if you are really interested in um, checking us out, that's the best way to do it is actually to come to campus and um, see what we have to offer in person, meet with faculty, meet with students. And um, so please give us a call or go online and we will be happy to help you. Thank you for your time and thanks for coming today. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Miles Community College. Good morning, everyone. My name is Erin Nidgey. I am the Dean of Enrollment Management and Educational Support Services at Miles Community College. Thanks for taking the time to join this virtual fair today. I'm happy to get to tell you a little bit about Miles Community College or MCC. We are a small public community college in Miles City, uh, which is the educational agricultural healthcare business hub of southeastern Montana. The community of Miles City uh, has about uh, 9,000 people, and we are a very small campus as well with about 500 students every year. Um, at MCC, we pride ourselves on providing personalized attention uh, in, in really a, a family atmosphere to students. That's the biggest thing we hear from our, our current students and our recent graduates and alumni uh, that, that they value most about MCC and the experience here at Miles Community College is uh, not being treated like a number, uh, having their name known by all of our employees, our faculty and staff, um, and really being treated like family. We hear that a lot from our students that transfer. Oh, I really miss MCC. I, I miss everybody knowing my name. I miss the support that I had. So um, something really valuable about being at a small campus like MCC. Uh, we are a residential two-year campus. So we do have um, campus housing on campus and do require first-year students under the age of 21 to live on campus in our residence halls. With that residence life combined with athletics, student clubs and organizations, we believe that we can really provide a robust full college experience at a two-year campus, um, giving students the opportunity to be involved, uh, go to games, live in the residence halls and, and take part in all of that uh, at a two-year campus while saving some money in the process. Um, in terms of academic programs, um, I do just want to show quickly how you can find those on our website. Um, from our website, milescc.edu, you can scroll down and click on degrees and programs, and we have a great listing of our programs. As a community college, we have both one-year and two-year career and technical programs that are designed to let you go to work um, after one year or, or two years here at MCC, or we have two-year associate's degrees that around various transfer pathways that are designed for those students who want to transfer to a four-year college or university. Um, our student enrollment is pretty much 50-50 split between those in our career and technical programs and those in our transfer pathway programs. And within many subject areas, we have both of those workforce-based career and technical programs or transfer pathways uh, combined within fields like agriculture or business. Um, students can often choose whether they want to go on to a four-year degree um, or, or go right to work after their time at Miles Community College. 
So from our website, you'll be able to see the type of degree offered in our various fields of study and can click in and learn more about those different programs. Our largest fields uh, tend to be our healthcare programs. We have a two-year RN program, uh, medical lab tech and rad tech pathway programs, a phlebotomy program, um, an EMT program, and are in the process of adding a pathway program, partnership program for paramedicine. So healthcare um, remains our largest. Uh, egg and equine and animal science, range management, all of those associated programs are one of our other largest areas. Being in an agricultural hub in Mile City, uh, this is a big part of what we do. Um, and again, we have workforce degrees or two-year transfer pathways into schools like Montana State University or Dickinson State University, which are some of the ag hubs for four-year programs um, in this part of the state. We also enroll again a number of students in just general education pathways, students who might be undecided, who might be trying to decide what that major at a four-year school is going to be um, before enrolling. And MCC is a great place to start with that to explore some options, um, decide what that pathway is before landing at a four-year college or university. In addition to athletics and campus housing, I think it's important to know that MCC also has intercollegiate athletic programs. Uh, we participate in the National Junior College Athletic Association, Region 13, and the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association, the Big Sky Region. Um, so we do have scholarships available for those recruited student athletes who signed to any of those teams. We have women's volleyball, women's softball, men's baseball, men's and women's basketball, and men's and women's rodeo. Our volleyball team actually last night just beat the number 20 ranked team in the nation in the second round of the postseason. So our teams always do very well. Um, that team is made up from students from Montana and Wyoming. They're competing very well. So we're, we're thrilled with that and are always excited to see what our teams do. Um, MCC really encourages you to visit campus. Come check us out. Uh, we host Pioneer Preview Days throughout the year that you can come for a group visit experience or we welcome individual campus visitors at any time. We'd be glad to have you tour campus, tour the residence halls, meet with a faculty member or program advisor in your desired field of study, learn more about financial aid or about our academic support services available to students. Um, even though we're a, we're a small campus, uh, we think we can really do a lot for our students and have a lot to show you. So uh, again, we encourage you to visit and welcome those at any time. If you have any questions about Miles Community College, don't hesitate to reach out and contact us at milescc.edu or call our admissions office. And we look forward to visiting with you all in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Chief Dullknife College. Uh, Joey, you're on mute. Always oh, uh, plan for failure. Good morning. My name is Joey Detono, uh, registrar at Chief Dullknife College, uh, located here in southeastern Montana. And the large metropolis of lame deer. Uh, currently, our student to faculty ratio 13 to 1. Uh, our newest programs include our addiction studies uh, and our early childhood, both offering two plus twos thanks to SKC and U of M. Uh, we are continuing to grow our virtual training and hopefully we'll be having uh, soon a program to offer training in John Deere and CAT equipment as well. Uh, Pre-registration opens November 9th and the new semester starts January 10th. Uh, plenty of internship applications are open for the NASA Space Grant Research uh, along with American Indian College Fund scholarships. We have a tutor, tutor, ah, sorry, a trio program and uh, the learning center is open with tutors. We have 12, I think, on staff at the moment and that's continuing to grow as well. We uh, uh, look forward to hearing from any of you. Feel free to reach out at the website, uh, cdkc.edu. And uh, once again, like I said, we just look forward to hearing from you, answering any questions. Uh, I'll be available, live Q&A. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Montana State University Billings. Hi, everybody. My name is Jenny. 
I am a marketing and new student services specialist here at Montana State University Billings. Let's get going here. All right. So a couple of facts about MSUB. Uh, there are around 4,100 students enrolled right now. Uh, MSUB was founded in 1927, originally as a teacher's college. It has grown to include five different academic colleges. The faculty to student ratio here on campus is about one to 14 students. So you're gonna get a really intimate learning experience. We are home to 16 NCAA Division II sport teams and 60 plus student clubs. 88% of faculty hold the highest degree in their fields, which just means you're just really getting the uh, top level education here. Billings is the largest city in Montana with about 120,000 people. It has a strong local yeah. economy with boutiques, live music venues, art galleries, and restaurants. It's also the home of Montana's only zoo and two of the most adorable red pandas. It's the home of Montana's largest business district with international, national, regional, and state and local businesses. There's two multiplex theaters and an old vintage movie theater, as well as a growing a medical corridor with two of the largest hospitals in the state and a variety of hiking trails, as well as an international airport. Right. When it comes to our academic colleges, we have a variety. There's the College of Business, City College, as Stephanie mentioned, College of Education, Health Professions and Science, and the Liberal Arts and Social Sciences College. And when it comes to the College of Business, there are over 25 client-based projects per year that students can get involved in during their time here. Over 90% of College of Business graduates are employed after graduation, many of them with the same firm that they did their internship with. And the College of Business is in company with only about 5% of the world's business schools that have achieved international AACSB accreditation. So just really, really rare and really cool. The Montana Business Hall of Fame is also, um, MSUB is the home of that here. And the College of Business is really proud to offer some flexible course offerings that have kind of come about in the time of COVID. Right. The College of Education will offer elementary education to secondary education, as well as master's degrees. And the people that are studying there will have contact with students as soon as freshman year. And then upon graduation, they will be fully certified to teach in the state of Montana. The College of Health Professions and Science, our beautiful new Yellowstone building was just completed construction there. Uh, you can pursue a Master of Science in Athletic Training, Rehabilitation and Human Services there. And in that building, you can also research with science faculty. Um, there is a cadaver lab and a really exciting new greenhouse for botany students. Right. For the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, you can study art, criminal justice, English, environmental studies, history, music, and delve into some psychology. And then for some fun stuff outside of learning, uh, when it comes to student life, there are over 60 student organizations at MSUB, more than 10 study abroad programs, and over 70 nonprofit community partners, another way that you can get involved before and after graduation. And there are a variety of intramural sports each semester if you still want to have fun, but don't want to get quite as serious. For housing and residential life, we do have two residence halls, both Pedro and Rimrock. Uh, there are single and double rooms available for whatever your preference may be. Um, within the residence halls, there are student services, activities, and programs, ways that you can make new friends and um, activities that you can do with those new friends. Both of the uh, Residence halls will have computer labs with internet and printing. For when you're cramming late at night, uh, there will be laundry services available and a kitchenette and microwave on each floor if you want to bake some cookies. And then there are also beverage and snack vending machines and mail services for your pen pals that you may have. There's fitness centers and then a resident assistant on each floor for any concerns or questions that you might need to share. Halls are also available over holidays and breaks. So again, you kind of just have that family feel when you are at your home, away from your home. There's also an ice machine in each hall for athletes or if you just want a cold drink. And then for athletics, we offer a variety of different sports from uh, baseball, basketball, cheer and stunt, cross country, golf, softball, track and field, triathlon, and volleyball. And these are all really fun to attend. When it comes to affordability, we really want you to succeed here and 
uh, for financial support, MSUB awards over $1.8 million annually in scholarships. And a quality, you will get the quality of a small private college at a public college value, which is something that is really exciting. Uh, and right here, you can see the numbers on that. This will be the estimated cost of attendance, and that is for the annual cost of attendance. Uh, this is also before any scholarships or grants or any of that. So keep that in mind too. All right, and then as I mentioned, you're getting the private school education at a public school cost. This is where it really comes in here. There's the academic support center, the trio and student support services, disability support services, the Yellow Jacket Emergency Pantry, Student Health Services, Native American Achievement Center, the Military and Veterans Success Center. Those are all ways that you can um, just get any help that you may need and we are here for you. And next steps, just submit your application. Scholarship app opens on November 1st and closes February 1st. Feel free to reach out with any questions. Your number, the number is right on the screen. We hope to see you here on campus. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Rocky Mountain College. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, waiting for you to stop sharing. Perfect. All right. Hope everyone can see my screen now and see me. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sean Coleman. I am the Director of Admissions here at Rocky Mountain College, also a Rocky Mountain College graduate alum. 2011, so it feels like a while ago, but just over 10 years. So happy to be here and hopefully to uh, explain a little bit about Rocky Mountain College. So we are also located in Billings, Montana, actually just about a mile down the road from Montana State University Billings. We were founded in 1878. We are the oldest college here in the state of Montana. We actually predate the state of Montana by a few years, which is pretty neat. So we've been here for a while. We are grounded in the liberal arts. Uh, so that means that all of our students from uh, top to bottom and any major that you're here uh, will be, become a well-rounded student. So you're going to learn a little about everything, to, no matter what your major is. Really diverse student body, so just over or just under a thousand students, depending on the year, uh, but students from just about all 50 states uh, and all over Montana. So uh, really get to know people from places like you and places that are not like you. So whether you're coming from Southern California, like myself, or from uh, you know, Sydney, Montana, you'll get to know people all around the world. We are historically affiliated with three different denominations, so students can be as involved as they'd like, but it's completely up to them. There is no requirement when it comes to, uh, to, to, to that education. And we are accredited by the Northwest Commission as an entirety. Like I said, we're located in Billings, Montana, uh, just underneath the rims here, a population of Montana of 125,000, which is pretty neat. Uh, so again, the, the central hub of the state, a lot of opportunity for growth, not only in your career, but as a person, uh, volunteering and, and lots of opportunity to get involved with different types of industries here in the state of Montana, but on a smaller scale. So most students will say, why Rocky Mountain College? It's a small private liberal arts school in the middle of Billings, Montana. Well, there's a lot of good reasons. You know, one, we do a great job of getting our graduates into their field of study. That's important to us. And due to our smallness, we're able to really pour our resources into every student here on campus because we have the time and the energy to do so. 88% uh, placement rate uh, in, as far as an internship. So students are required to recruit an internship and we require that, uh, but it's, it, it's very easy to do. So there are only two majors that do not require internship here. That's going to be our education program because they are in the classroom starting that second semester of their freshman year. So they'll be in a classroom understanding what that process looks like and our aviation program. So we own 10 planes here at the college and students are able to fly and will be flying at a minimum three days a week, uh, working towards those, those licenses and those ratings. So it's that transformational learning is happening while they're in school. Now, just this past year, we were able to lower that student to faculty ratio. So nine to one, uh, students are able to get in touch with their faculty. I was meeting with a few students and that so far has been uh, the best part of their college experience in these first two months of of college is being able to connect with faculty on a much more personal level and helping uh, being helped find those uh, those avenues of, of their career. Average class size of 14, so students are able to get the classes they need, graduate on time, that's never an issue, but also again have more conversations within your class and not necessarily being lectured by our professors. 90% placement rate, uh, so again we're in Billings with the largest hospital corridor, 
So students who are looking to go into that medical field have a lot of opportunity uh, to get into the industry or at least discover an, an industry that maybe they were unaware of while they're here at Rocky Mount College and next to that hospital corridor. Again, we're often voted as Montana's best value. So uh, despite being a private institution, we're able to offer aid uh, at our discretion, at the college's discretion to help students make college an affordable option. The academics, we've got over 50 different majors here. So like I said, aviation and, and education are two, but we also offer equestrian studies, um, uh, biology, psychology, environmental science, geology, a lot of four-year degrees in those areas where students are able to, again, be attractive in the work field place. Some minors and some professional programs, we have the state's only physician's assistant program. So if you're looking to, to go in the medical field, but maybe not become a doctor, that physician assistant is very attractive. Uh, they still have a lot of responsibility and they're, they're definitely doing good work there. As far as athletics, we offer 17 different uh, NAIA varsity sports. So uh, right now our, our football team is 13th in the nation, which is awesome. Our golf women, men's and women's are ranked nationally uh, in the in the country as well. They're doing really well by the end of the season, if not all, uh, most of our athletic teams are ranked nationally, uh, which is awesome. So competing against other schools in Montana, uh, a few schools in Idaho and Oregon as well. As far as merit scholarships, that's, that's a big one, right? A lot of people say private schools are too expensive. Uh, as soon as you're accepted, we offer merit scholarships that are not only a renewable, but they are attainable every year. So you don't have to reapply for these scholarships. They are yours the, the life of the time you're here at Rocky Mountain College. On average, our students are awarded $24,000 in financial aid every year. Uh, Rocky Mountain College this past year was just about $40,000. So knocking off a little more than half of that cost, making us very competitive. And again, a good value uh, for an education here at Rocky Mountain College. This a uh, couple years ago, we did offer the RMC Promise Scholarship. And this scholarship is uh, available to students their first year and it's renewable every single year. The, the biggest point here is that it reduces your overall tuition to $2,500 per year. Uh, and that is renewable annually, which is awesome. As far as financial aid goes, again, $24,000 in financial aid. There is no FAFSA deadline, so get in touch with us if you do have any questions. As far as next steps, apply. Our application is free. And you can get in touch with me if you do have any additional questions. We do offer a $500 visit scholarship as well if you come and schedule a visit. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate your time and have a great day. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Amy from Little Bighorn College. Thanks, Sarah. And thanks, everyone. I must clarify that I am not from Little Bighorn College, but unfortunately, Little Bighorn College could not be with us today. And I want to make sure all of the students who are watching today get a chance to meet and get to know a little bit about Little Bighorn College. So with that, I will do the best I can to share a few updates and let you get to know um, Little Bighorn College. So to start off, I think the best way to start would be just to understand the location of Little Bighorn College. So Little Bighorn College actually uh, sits in the part of our state, kind of the southeastern portion of our state right here. It's right next to Chief Dole Knife College, which you heard Joey earlier in this session talk about their campus. They are near each other. Uh, and then you'll see that there are other seven other tribal colleges in Montana. But today we're going to I'm going to do a quick overview of Little Bighorn College. So for those of you who are on the session today, you get a chance to see a little bit about them. Uh, so Little Bighorn College, here is a quick little overview. Let me give you a few highlights that I know of Little Bighorn College. It is, again, one of seven tribal colleges in Montana. It's located in the Crow Agency of Montana and affiliated with the Montana University System and is an official tribal college in our state. They offer free tutoring for students uh, through Title III and the Student Success Center throughout the year. They have a health and wellness center which offers state-of-the-art uh, workout facility, including all their sports facilities. If you've never been to Little Bighorn College, it, it's pictured right here in the left-hand side of the screen. It's an amazing facility, along with many other facilities on campus that are quite amazing. Uh, they have academic advising, which is done by faculty, uh, so you get firsthand experience on your programs you're in. Transportation, child care, and financial aid are always available to students. Uh, Little Bighorn College offers associate degree in Crow Studies, which includes Crow language and Crow 
culture courses, which is a, a really special feature of their campus. Uh, Little Bighorn College has open admissions policy, um, so you're welcome to apply at any time. And also Little Bighorn College offers a first year experience program for students to really help make sure you have a warm welcome and understanding of your first year in college, which for any campus can be kind of a new start. So that's really nice that they, their campus offers that. I do want to show you also um, just some overall stats you can see here. These are estimates, of course, they have about 300 students typically. Their faculty ratio is about 20 to one. So small campus size, small classes, you get that personalized touch that we've heard about on several other campuses in this session as well. Um, and then as far as costs and tuition, this of course is an estimate that I have, uh, you'll wanna contact them directly for the exact cost, but they are right now, but it's somewhere around 3000, a little more than that uh, per year to attend. So that's an overview. I also want to show you their website so you can go and check some of this out yourself. Uh, they have some great resources here. And I would say, if I were a student in high school right now, the first place I would go to is to the academics portion so you can get a feel of what academic programs they have and if it fits your interests. So go check out their website. It's lbhc.edu. Uh, check out their academics page. Uh, feel free to take a look at all the different programs they have along with all the resources they have for students. But again, we're very lucky to have seven tribal colleges in Montana. Little Bighorn College is one of them. I think what you've heard multiple times today is the best way to really get to know one of these campuses is go visit. And I would highly recommend if you've never been to Little Bighorn College and you're interested, go take a visit. They are a wonderful staff and team to help students across Montana and beyond. So with that, Little Bighorn College, check them out. Thanks everyone. Thanks DiveScan for hosting today and thank you students for being with us. We're excited for your future. Thanks so much, Amy. Um, at this time, we're going to move into a, a question and answer round. So I would like to invite all of our wonderful panelists to join me back on screen, turn on their videos and unmute themselves. Um, and I actually think, Joey, let me ask you to unmute yourself. There we go. Um, so our first question, and we're gonna start in the order of which you presented or go in the order of which you presented. The first question I wanna to pose to you is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we'll start uh, with City College at Montana State U uh, University billing. Uh, my advice to any student is, as you are doing the search process is, definitely go online, do the research there, but as you narrow it down, set aside time to go visit the campuses you're looking at. I think. We all have some great programs. We have great opportunities in our communities and it's finding the right fit. So I really think that campus visit can really help you there. Thanks. Miles Community College. Uh, as, a, as someone who's added to your college, I think my biggest piece of advice would be to dose, don't discount your uh, local close to home options that you might have in a two-year college and university. Uh, we, we've seen a number of students who can still get to that university four-year degree um, with a pathway through a community college that lets them start small, close to home, um, save some money, get some of that value in the process, and then still achieve the same goals that they have. Uh, just because your parents, guidance counselors, or others um, are saying you should look at a couple of institutions, uh, make sure you, you take a look and see what really is the best fit for you. Chief Dolnife College. What can I say that those ladies haven't already said? Uh, as a father of a senior, I can certainly tell you that uh, the search for college is uh, ever, ever ongoing and uh, maddening as a parent. But the uh, one thing that I would say is consider consider how much money you're gonna save. Look at our two years. Look at at uh, you know maybe maybe staying home or closer to home for that first year isn't always a bad idea when you start looking at the amount of money you're going to spend going going to the university and also preparing it, it helps to prepare that student for going on montana state university billing yeah i would just say um apply for scholarships and apply early uh you know no matter uh, what your GPA is, you know, you, you might have a 3.5 to a 4.0 GPA and you want to apply for scholarships, but, you know, we see students who have a, a 2.5 to 3.0 uh, 
uh, GPA that we have funds for. So take advantage of scholarships, even if you don't think you're eligible, you might be surprised. Rocky Mountain College. Yeah, um, as you've probably heard, there's a lot of different schools and we're all doing things slightly different. So my biggest advice is to utilize the folks that are reaching out to you. We're, we're here to help make this process as, as seamless and as easy as possible. So no question is a ridiculous or a dumb question. Please ask us, that's our job is to inform you as much as possible. And Amy, would you like to share some advice you might have? Sure, sure. I would just say college is possible for everyone. Don't let anyone tell you you can't go to college or that you can't follow your dream, whether it's apprenticeship, whatever it may be. There are options for every student out there. And there are so many people, all of us on this session, your counselors, your faculty, your teachers, but anybody from the colleges will help you no matter what it is you want to do, even if it turns out not to be that college. So ask for help. Don't be afraid that college is possible and education is possible for everyone. So our next question, and we'll start again with City College at Montana State University Billings. Um, what is one thing you want students to remember about your school? I would say the best thing, one of the best things about our city co our college campus is the opportunity to do internships, that real hands-on learning that is um, part of almost every program that we offer. And um, yeah, I think, you know, getting to apply what you're learning in the classroom just makes it more memorable and um, helps you apply it out in the workforce when you go out there. So yeah. Miles Community College. Uh, I want students to remember that at Miles Community College, they have a variety of pathways to achieve their goals, no matter what that is, whether it's workforce or transfer or advanced degrees, and that they can be um, a name and not just a number here at MCC. Chief Dullknife College. I would want to, number one, our language. Uh, we get to speak Cheyenne, we get to learn Cheyenne, which is pivotal means good and shine. Uh, but also we are $90 credit and going into our fifth year of free summer school. Montana State University Billings. Um, yeah, just uh, I'd like to let students know uh, MSUB is located in the largest city in Montana, which means lots of opportunities for jobs and internships, both while you're going to school and after you graduate. So check us out. <laughs> Rocky Mountain College. Uh, Rocky Mountain College takes our education very personal. Uh, so you, you'll have an opportunity to, to make this as personal to you as possible. And that's something we strive to doing every single day. And our last question, we'll go ahead and uh, start again with City College. What is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions process? Or if, if you don't uh, have an answer to that, you're welcome to, uh, to share another tip or, or fun fact. Sure. Um, I think, you know, it, it can be challenging and daunting, but with the one app, the Montana app right now, it makes it a lot easier for students to apply. And um, don't be afraid to apply to a few colleges. Expand your options and see what the best fit is. And um, there's, you know, it's your education, it's your life. Do it, you know, take it and run with it. <laughs> Miles Community College. Uh, the myth I'd like to debunk would be that you can't start at a two-year college because credits don't transfer. Um, that, is, that is not the case, they absolutely do. And I know that all of our, uh, our two-year schools in the state have phenomenal team members that can help, uh, advisors and team members that can help students uh, navigate those transfer decisions so that they can can transfer to a four-year school and still meet their goals. Chief Dullknife College. We might have lost Joey. Uh, we'll go to Montana State University Billings. Um, yeah, I would just say uh, applying is a lot easier than a lot of students think it is, um, especially with the Montana One application that we share with all the four-year state-run schools in Montana um, and some of the two-year schools. So, um, and out, out the, uh, there's no application fee for Montana residents, so uh, you can apply to multiple colleges and universities fairly easily. 
Rocky Mountain College. Oh uh, my! The, I guess one of the things I like to debunk that Amy kind of alluded to is that college is accessible. Uh, it's it's not for the elite. It's it's not for a specific group. But college admission is available to all students, and that's our job is to help to help do that. And Amy, any final uh, myths you'd like to debunk? I thought everyone has said it's been wonderful. Again, I would just encourage students don't let the myths of it being too hard or it's not possible or college isn't right for them get in the way of just applying. Um, again, the help is out there both financially and support. Uh, it is op an option for everyone. Well, I want to thank our wonderful presenters today for their insights, their information, and thank you all for joining. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five-question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions. And as a reminder, you'll be able to find this session's recording, as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash Montana virtual. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.